is in good condition. The top was removed. There is solid footing. We walked across about half of it, and it's ready to play this game this afternoon. And ready to set the stage for the kickoff in just a moment will be my colleague on the Bills broadcast, Ralph Hubble. The Buffalo team is going to receive on the opening kickoff, although the official formality of deciding that has not uh, taken place in the center of the field. We're waiting now for the officials who are getting a little bit anxious and uh, champing in the bit a bit to uh, get these fellows introduced and get the game on its way. The fog is beginning to settle in and uh, the lights are penetrating are uh, dimming just a little bit. The official today's the referee will be Bob Finley. The umpire will be Walt Parker. The headlinesman will be Al Sabato. The backfield judge, Hugh Gamber. And the field judge, Frank Rustich. Thank you, Ralph, and Merry Christmas, everybody. And here we go for the American Football League Championship of 1964. Jim Warren and Leslie Duncan are standing beneath the uprights as Gogolak gets ready to side foot this ball and start the championship game. Today's crowd will set a championship game record in the American Football League. It will be in the neighborhood of 40,000. The lights are on, the temperature is 47. Gogolak sets the ball on the tee. And wherever you are, we hope you'll enjoy our broadcast this afternoon. Warren and Duncan of the Chargers are waiting, and here is Gogolak approaching the ball, and he kicks it off. It is high and deep at the goal line, and behind it, it is fumbled there and fallen on by Leslie Duncan. There will be no run back, and the Chargers will start at the 20-yard line. A. Good Clark was the first man down the field for the Bills. Their backfield will be Rode at quarterback, Lowe and Lincoln the halfback, Robinson the flanker, and Norton the split end. The center is Don Rogers. The tackles are right and mix, the guards Sweeney and Shea. Here we go. Wide to the left is Norton. Robinson is out to the right. In the tee, with a back set in a divide behind the tackles. The first play of the game. Tobin Rode calls it. Goes back to pass. Gets good protection and gives up the middle to Lincoln, who breaks through to the midfield stripe and is tackled at the Buffalo 41-yard line. Deep Lincoln, a beautiful fake by Roach. Charlie Warner made the tackle at the Bills 42 as Lincoln broke through for a 58-yard gain at the Bills 42-yard line. Wide to the left is Norton at the Bills 37-yard line. Back goes Robinson. Kasurik is out there, too, as double flankers. They have a slot back to the left in Lincoln. And a wing back to the right. Here's the pass. It is good to Lincoln, and he is upended at about the 26-yard line in a spread formation, double wing and double flankers. Sames made the stop at the Bills 26, and the Chargers are on the move. And a first down. Well, you can expect Sid Gilman to use everything in the book this afternoon. The same formation. A wing back wide to the right this time, double flankers to the right, and a split left end. Here's Rhodes faking back to pass. He throws long, and it is caught for the touchdown by Dave Kosurek. And the Chargers lead six to nothing as they drove 80 yards in about five plays. And there's the San Diego Cannon as the Chargers go out in front with 12.49 left in the first quarter. They have scored in four plays, moving 80 yards. Lincoln is coming in to try the point. Keith Lincoln with road holding. The Bills stunned on this drive, and they trail 6 to nothing. Here's the try for point. It is good. The score is 7 to nothing. San Diego leads, and we'll be back in one minute. Once again, friends, we greet you from War Memorial Stadium, where in electrifying fashion, the San Diego Chargers have taken a 7 to nothing lead over the Buffalo Bills in this championship AFL game. As the kickoff comes up, and here again is Van Miller. Warner is deep with Rutkowski. Lincoln kicks off. It is high and short. Coming up on the ball, Rutkowski at the 15 to the 20, the 25, the 30, the 35, up to the 40-yard line, and down he goes. We're in the first quarter with 12.31 to play, and the clock is running. Jack Kemp is the quarterback. Carlton and Gilchrist are the running backs. Dubenian is flanked to the right. Here is the call by Jack Kemp, the quarterback. He has Gilchrist behind him. He moves him over now. Behind the tackle, gives to Cookie, and he fights through for a first down on the play to the San Diego 49 over right tackle. Ernie Ladd made the stop. George Grote, the left tackle, helped out. It'll be first down for the Bills and 10 to go. Gilchrist and Carlton 
in the divide, out behind the tackles as Kemp calls the play. He gives off to Gilchrist again, and the big guy, Ladd, hits him at the line of scrimmage and stops him for no gain. Ernie Ladd was there to greet Cookie Gilchrist at the line of scrimmage, which is the San Diego 49-yard line, and he stopped him right there. It'll be second down and 10 to go for Bumble. It is good to Gilchrist, and then he drops the ball, and it goes as an incomplete pass. Dropping back in safety for San Diego, Leslie Duncan and Jim Warren, or Jerry Robinson. McGuire will punt, standing at the Bills 35. Gets a good pass from center, kicks it high for the right sideline, and it goes out of bounds inside the pin at about the seven and a half yard line. Wide to the left, Robinson to the right. Tobin Road calling the play on a trap. Into the clear momentarily, out over the 20-yard line goes Paul Lowe. George Sane finally cut him down. It will be a first down for San Diego at the 24. It is second and 10. Here is Roat calling the play. The Bills drop off a linebacker. Roat is back to pass. The swing pass, and boy, oh boy, the man was hit hard inside the 30 by Stratton, and he is hurt. It is Lincoln, and he was really hit by Mike Stratton just as the ball came into his arms and he was really shaken up on the play. And Ralph, you don't see any tackles harder than that. But this lad down here right now is really suffering. He was hit so hard by Mike Stratton that he almost came out the other side. He's still on his back down there on the field. We're at War Memorial Stadium here in Buffalo. The score is San Diego 7, Buffalo nothing. The uh, injured player is Keith Lincoln, and he is uh, stunned. There's no question of it. Chargers at their 34. Here we go. Rope rolling out a reverse. Norton, one man misses them, and now they get him for a loss inside the 30-yard line. McDowell made the tackle on the play. Tracy missed him, but McDowell got him on the split-end reverse. Waiting for the snap from center on this punt. A good pass from center. The kick is 7-21 to play in the first quarter. Don Rogers made the tackle. That was a 43-yard punt and a five-yard return. Dubenyan is flanked to the right. Double coverage on Dubenyan. As Kemp calls the play, the linebackers have moved out of the picture. Let's see if he goes up the middle. Gilchrist trying to sweep left end, gets away from one man, and then is hit down at the 40-yard line. A flag goes down, maybe grabbing the face mask. Great block by Bass. I thought maybe that uh, Gilchrist might cut in. They're going to penalize San Diego 15 yards. Ernie Ladd grabs the face mask. That moves the ball into Charger territory to the San Diego 46-yard line. Five men up on the line for the Chargers. Camp back to throw. Good to bat, and he is hit there and dropped inside the 30-yard line. No, no good. They say Dubanyan was out of the end zone. It is not oh. a touchdown. His feet did not come down inside the end zone. With 4.21 remaining in the first period, the Bills trailing 7 to nothing. LaMonica will hold at the 12-yard line, right in a little patch of sand out there on the only wet part of this field where the tarps come together around the center of the field. Waiting for the snap on this field goal attempt from the 12. The kick is up and the kick is good. And the Chargers lead seven to three after Gogolak's 12 yard field goal. And we'll be back in 10 seconds on the Buffalo Bills football network. So Buffalo has saved the point lead to four now. Trails by three to seven and here's Pete Gogolak putting that ball on its uh, tippy toes and is all ready to boot it. Here's Van Miller. The deep man are Jim Warren and Leslie Duncan. Here's Gogolak approaching the ball. He kicks it off high and long. In the end zone, it is taken there and going to be run out by Duncan. 5, 10, 15, 20, outside, 25, 30. Two men to beat. Midfield, down to the 40. One man gets him from behind. A great tackle by McGuire at the 35-yard line of the Bills. McGuire made a diving tackle. Out of the huddle come the San Diego Chargers, leading 7-3 to three late in the first quarter in that double-wing spread formation. Back to pass goes Tobin Rowe. They rush him out of the pocket. He looks. He passes. Interception. Charlie Warner has the ball. 
at the 28-yard line of the Bills. Just back hit him, and the Bills take over on the interception by Charlie Warner. First down for the Bills at the Buffalo 28-yard line. The pass was intended for Robinson to the right. Double coverage on Dubinion as Kemp calls the play. Let's see if he goes up the middle. Gilchrist trying to sweep left end. Gets away from one man. And out of bounds at about the 40-yard line of San Diego. A beautiful block by Glenn Bass as Gilchrist ran outside right end. Bass, the split end, cut the corner man down on the play. Gross made the tackle outside the San Diego 40. The Bills got 32 yards on the play. Kemp rubbing his hands in this 47 degree weather to warm them up a little bit. Back to pass, good protection. He fakes, he throws, and it is good to Dominion at the 14 yard line. Wait a minute, Warlick, it was Ernie Warlick. At the 14 yard line, a first down Buffalo. 27 yards, Bass to Warlick. That's Buffalo's sixth first down of the game. The Chargers have four. The Bills trail seven to three. Kemp is now three of seven for 62 yards. Gilchrist has gained 38 and four rushes. Carlton 15 and three. They are not. And that is the end of the first quarter. And we'll be back in one minute on the Buffalo Bills Football Network. As cover of close with the San Diego team who scored in the first four plays of the game, leading by a score of seven to three. And uh, as we look down there now, Buffalo is in scoring position, and here's Van Miller to call the play. San Diego eight-yard line. The last time they had a third down inside the ten. Dominion caught the ball, but was over the sideline in the end zone, and they had to settle for three. The Bills trailing seven to three, and here is the play with Kemp calling it. He goes back to pass, looks toward the end zone, fires there. It is almost intercepted. Dropped by a San Diego linebacker, number 55, Frank Buncombe. And again, the Bills field goal unit goes on the field, and Gogolak will try this one from around the 15-yard line. And so again, the Bills have been thwarted in their touchdown attempt. This will be a 16-yard field goal attempt by Gogolak from the hash mark at the far side of the field with LaMonica holding. There's the fake. LaMonica's going to run. And he is hit at the five-yard line. And he does not get it. And the Chargers take over. Diego leading 7-3. to three. It was not an option pass or run. It was an obvious attempt to run. Their backfield is Roach. Low, Kinderman, I believe, and Robinson is the flanker. At about the eight-yard line, here's that spread formation with Rode in the middle as the quarterback. At the six-yard line, he gives off to low, pass at the five, to low to the ten, and he's tackled and knocked down at about the 16, and that'll be, I believe, enough for the first down. With 13.29 to play in the first half, and the clock activated once again. The Chargers leading seven to three. Keith Lincoln was injured when he was tackled on a swing pass play by Mike Stratton and has been replaced by Kinderman. Again, that double wing and spread formation. And here's Roach back to pass. Gets good protection. Goes over the middle. It is caught beautifully. No, wait a minute, no good. Robinson had it at the 39 but couldn't hold it. Warner was on his back. Robinson was facing away from us, and we thought he had the ball, but when he fell, he did not have it. And so the Chargers will have to punt on fourth and five from their 21-yard line. The Bills have Clark and Rakowski upfield. Low pass from center. He scoops it up and gets it away. It is taken at the 45. Fumble by Rakowski. I think the Bills have it. Clark rather fumbled it and fell on the ball at the 44-yard line of Buffalo, and the Bills have a first and 10. That was a 35-yard punt, and Hadel did a good job of scooping the ball up. Are they going to measure? They're going to take the chain in and stretch it out. It's a first down. Nine twenty-eight to play in the first half. Here's the play, second down, Buffalo at the San Diego 27. Kemp the quarterback with Bass to the left and DeBenyon to the right. He fakes the deep reverse to DeBenyon at the 30, the 25, 
the 20, and down he goes at about the 19-yard line. Bud White had hit him there. They ran that play to the closed side of the field. You would think that they would try to run that reverse to the open side of the field, but they didn't. They came back to the short side. An eight-yard gain at third down and two for Buffalo. Kemp rolls out. He passes. It is good to Gilchrist at the five. And he's got a first down. What a play by Kemp. Buncombe made the tackle at the four. Kemp threw the ball with Allen around his ankle. 15 yards at first and goal. Well, I'll tell you, Kemp did a job that time. And Gilchrist made the catch softly tough against that big front four. Maybe it's just an illusion, but San Diego looks so much bigger in those white jerseys. Kemp, long count. Carlson, fighting in for the touchdown! <laughs> Off right tackle. And the Bills lead by a score of 9-7. to seven. And listen to this crowd. Monica will come in and hold for Pete Gogolak, extra point try at the 10-yard line. The Bills have gone out in front 9-7. to seven. The kick is up and good, and Buffalo leads 10-7. And we'll be back in one minute on the Buffalo Bills Football Network. Warren and Duncan are deep. Here's the kickoff. It is high, and again it goes into the end zone. Three yards. Warren is going to run it out to the 10 the 15 and he is hit at about the 23 straight on hey good Clark was in there Duncan carried the ball Meredith belted him hard and San Diego has a first down it was Duncan who returned that kickoff to the 24 yard line of the Chargers 26 yard return over the middle almost intercepted at the 25 Sestak made a dive at the ball. Norton split to the left. Again, a pass play. Rope throwing. It is batted down by Bird at the 40-yard line. Intended for Norton. Bird made a great play. Third down and 10. For Kemp calling his play for Buffalo. Goes back to pass. A four-man pattern. He runs at the 40, 45 midfield and dives in to the San Diego 47-yard line for a first down. Whitehead and Allen hit him. And I'll tell you, Mr. Kemp just put his head down and tore into him. That is 10 first downs for the Bills. 13-yard gain for Kemp. The ball in San Diego territory at the 47. Bass is split to the left. 447 left in the first half. The Bills lead 10 to 7. They have a first down and 10 of the San Diego 47. Here is Gilchrist finding a hole inside the 40, 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, and out of bounds at the 8-yard line. What a job Gilchrist did on that run. Really ripped on that play. First and goal at the 8. DeBenyon flanks to the right. Bass splits to the left. Might have fallen forward for about a half a yard. A good tackle by Graham, the safety man. They've got him back at the 10-yard line. He slipped and fell just as he was ready to throw. And Carpenter, the linebacker who was blitzing, stopped the play at the San Diego 10. And the field goal unit is coming on. 2.50 to play in the first half. And so the Bills have had the ball now four times inside San Diego's 10-yard line. And the... Total points on the scoreboard, a field goal, and a touchdown so far, and now Gokulak's going to try a 17-yarder from the hash marks across the field. The kick is up, and the kick is good, and the Bills lead 13 to 7. On the 15, the 20, the 25, and he has hit outside the 30 and spun around and dropped it about the 32 or 3 by McGuire. First down, San Diego, the Bills lead 13 to 7 as we approach the two-minute mark in the second period. 
Here's Rose, the quarterback. Back to pass. Gets good protection. Fakes watch now. Throws. Intercepted beautifully by Stratton. He laterals the ball to Bird at the 35. And he retreats to the 30. And then comes upfield to the 35, the 40. The 40. At the 45, a flag on the play. Midfield and down he goes. Strikes with a block. There's a flag on the play at the 42-yard line of Buffalo. I think they are going to allow the interception and probably call a penalty for clipping on the attempted return. That's the preliminary indication now, although we'll just wait. They're going to give San Diego the ball. Wait a minute. At the 42-yard line of the Bills, the official pointed San Diego downfield. There's a discussion out there at the 43-yard line. It is a first down San Diego. Apparently pass interference was the call. The clock is running now. San Diego will not huddle on this play with 106 remaining. Here is Rote. The quick pass. Intercepted by the Bills. Stratton has the ball at the 18-yard line. And the Bills take over. The Bills have it. And the clock is running with less than a minute remaining. In the first half, it is first down Buffalo at the Buffalo 18-yard line. The Bills huddling back at the 10. The clock ticking off the second. Jabenian wide to the left against double coverage. 33 seconds left. Here is Kemp giving to Gilchrist outside. Finds a bit of a hole and then is spun around and dropped at the 24-yard line of the Bills. 21 seconds, 20. The Bills are going to be content not to try anything here that would lose them the ball. And I believe they are going to let the clock run timeout in the first half. Nine seconds, eight, seven, six, five. The Bills leading 13 to seven. San Diego led seven to three at the end of the first quarter. There's the gun ending the half with Buffalo leading San Diego 13 to seven. The Chargers scored seven in the first period, nothing in the second. The Bills, a field goal in the first by Gogolak and 10 points in the second. And that's the half of it. And Ralph Hubble will be back with our intermission show after this one-minute pause on the Buffalo Bills Football Network. I think you see a lot of uh, yellow clickers around here today. It sort of sparkled throughout the stadium. The lights have been on since the start of the game at War Memorial Stadium. Juvenian is flanked to the left, and Bass is the split right in. Kemp is the quarterback. Carlton and Gilchrist are the running backs. And here is the call by Kemp. He calls on Gilchrist, and he dives through the pile and squirts forward for a couple of yards. He picked up about two on the play, and then he was stopped by George Gross, the left tackle. Spot the ball up around the Bills' 37-yard line. It'll be second down and about eight to go. Passes. It is no good to Bass. He trapped the ball at the 46-yard line, made a good move to get around Allen, the linebacker, but he had picked the ball off the ground. It's a close ball game in the third quarter with 11 minutes and 11 seconds remaining. Second down and 10 for San Diego at the Charger 43-yard line. The Bills are leading 13 to 7. Again, the spread. Road all alone. Back to pass. The quick one is... Oh, Tracy almost had it picked off at the San Diego 45, and Tracy would have gone for the TD. It was again intended for Robinson, and Kasurik was over there with him. Oh, that was close. And they've got him short of the first down, up around the 48 or 9-yard line. Bird slowed him down, and Day made the tackle on him. And now San Diego will send John Hadle in to punt on fourth down and about four. It is high and short. It bounces inside the 20, rolls inside the 15, and is going to be surrounded and down just at the 10-yard line for a Buffalo. A 41-yard punt. Rolling dead at the 10-yard line. 10 minutes and 13 seconds to go. First down, Buffalo at the 10-yard line. Kemp, the quarterback, sends Bass to the left, Dubinion to the right. They'll be looking for Gilchrist and Carlton now, the setbacks. The give is to Carlton, and he hits a stone wall but manages to get out to the 14-yard line. Again on that crossfire play from left to right, he picked up four on the play. Allen, the middle linebacker, made the stop. It is second down and now sets team along the line and 
second and six at the Bills 14. It is Gilchrist, and he looks for a hole, but it does not open. Ernie Ladd smothered him along with Bob Petrich. Right at the line of scrimmage, he might have gotten a yard to the 15 on the play as he ran out. Tackled by Chuck Allen. The deep diagonal to Albert Duvenian. First down for the Bills, 20 yards on the play. Closer to 21. Calls his play, waits for the snap, has it. Here's Carlton again, fighting for yardage, and Ladd rode him down from behind after about a two-yard pickup, somewhere in the neighborhood of the 38-yard line. Seven minutes and 30 seconds left in the third quarter. The Bills 13, the Chargers 7. Now he waits for the snap of the ball, goes back to pass, looks downfield, throws a good catch at the 45 by Gilchrist. He tries to get up and run, but is ridden down by Allen, the middle linebacker, and Carpenter. Set it down, and they decide it is not a first down. It will be third down. 6.57 remaining in the third quarter. Buffalo leading 13 to 7. Running backs, Carlton and Gilchrist, who are set in a divide. The tackles, Gross and Ladd, are right in there tight. Will Kemp go straight ahead? Let's see if he does. He gives instead to Gilchrist off the pile for the first down. What a play he made. And they shove him out of bounds at the 49-yard line. And a flag is going down on the play. And they're going to march off a 15-yarder against the Bills. And that takes the ball back into Buffalo territory to the 46-yard line. Offensive holding is the call. And the Bills will need 25 yards now. Kemp ready to direct the ball club as DeBenyon flank to the left. The cornerback comes up. Kemp goes back to throw. They've got him from behind. Petrich at the 35 blindsided him and dumped him for the loss. Bob Petrich from the 35-yard line of Buffalo. They lost 15 on the penalty, 11 on the blitz. Here is Kemp for DeBenyon, but he couldn't hold on to it. And the Bills now have a third down and 36. The swing pass to Gilchrist is no good at the 37-yard line. And the Bills will have to punt on fourth down and 36 from their own 35, 20-yard line. We'll see if Lowe or Lincoln come back into the ball game here. Here's the punt. It bounces at the 30, and it's picked up there and returned by Robinson. They miss him at the 40, 45, midfield. One man to beat. And they've got him there in Buffalo territory at the 47-yard line. McGuire again made the tackle. And the Chargers, on a good play by Robinson, a dangerous play, nonetheless have a first down in Buffalo territory. Sends Robinson to the right, pitches out to Lowe, and they stuck him up there and drop him. Well, that was another near interception by the Bills. Earlier, Tracy almost had one. John Hadle is coming in for San Diego. Hadle is coming into the backfield, and Road is going out. Look downfield, throws. Is it intercepted? Yes, it is. At the 20-yard line by Bird. And the Bills have the ball. George Bird caught the ball at the far side of the field. Just got it before it went over the sideline and the Bills take over at the 21 yard line.
Into the fourth quarter, the Bills hold a 13-7 advantage. Kemp flicks a slant pass to Glenn Bass on a 51-yard play. Westmoreland catching Bass from behind on the one-yard line. Setting up an easy TD by Kemp. Buffalo kicks off and watch little Leslie Speedy Duncan, who thrills millions of fans all day with his record breaking kickoff return. He shows his blinding speed as he returns the ball 50 yards behind outstanding blockers. Effort ignites the charger, and the San Diegans battle to get back in the game. Hayward passes to Kasuri for 28 yards. Then Hayward passes to fullback Keith Kinderman. Ernie Wright and Walt Swinney lead Keith for another seven yards to the five. Now it's fourth and five, and on the next play, Hadel tries to find Jerry Robinson on a quick out for the touchdown. But the speech gives him grinding slips on the wet turf. Paul McGuire puts the icing on the championship cake with this gorgeous 64-yard punt to the Chargers 2 near game's end. shows us 56 seconds remaining and Buffalo with a 20 to 7 lead. It'll be a, a long trip home for San Diego after this game today just as it was probably as short a trip as we ever took when we came from Boston last Sunday night. Funny how victory makes the trip lose its miles almost immediately. Yes, the crowd is really gathering right now. From all sections of the area, we see their signs. I notice Oakfield is represented down there. And the players themselves are standing in front of the bench. The lone person to be sitting down is Jack Kemp, who is sitting on the bench down to the right of our broadcasting equipment. And the fellows are coming around, ladies are coming around shaking his hand. Jack must be a happy man. There was one period there about three weeks ago when he was very unhappy and lost his starting quarterbacking job to Daryl LaMonica. Here is Hadel up on his feet. He wouldn't use the stretcher and listen to that crowd. He's not only up on his feet, but he's going to stay. 56 of those seconds remain and it is 20 to 7 Buffalo. Tobin Road has replaced John Hadel as quarterback. Fred formation, double wings, double flankers, wrote the pass. They rush him, Stratton hits him, but the pass is good to Kinderman. 15, 20, 25, 30, still on his feet and down to the 37-yard line. 45 seconds left and San Diego stops the clock. Tobin Rose with a third down and three from the 44-yard line is back to pass. Sestak has him. At the 30-yard line, the clock is running now, and they cannot stop it. Wait a minute. Yes, they do. The goal post in the east end zone is tottering now, and down it comes. 
and there is a surge. The crowd is out on the field, and they're going to have to suspend play, Ralph, with 26 seconds remaining. A mob at each goal post. Well, Ralph, we'll turn it back to you. Yes, 26 seconds of the year is left. And these fans have gone absolutely crazy. 21 seconds, 20 seconds. Play is in on the field, and the fans are all over the field. They better look out. Go ahead, Van. Here's the Charger huddle. Now there's the line of scrimmage. Back to pass goes Rose. A little swing pass is good. 30, 35, 40, 45, midfield, three seconds, two, one. The Bills are champions. The Bills are champions. They beat the Chargers 20 to 7 with three points in the first quarter, 10 in the second, 10 in the third, and the final seven in the fourth. San Diego scored only in the first quarter, and we'll be back in one minute.